later in the day than we expected, but this is kind of our initial foray uh, on Little Miss and Abbey, day one. There's the other fellas right there. We just started, and uh, we're kind of in a, well, it's all a bunch of tight neck downs here on Little Miss and Abbey, but uh, kind of a real subtle spot. That's a nice one. Nice. That's Terry's first one of the trip. Good going, buddy. Um, yeah, anyway, seven feet of water right here, and uh, 10 foot max out that way. Right behind us there, there's a big four foot flat that extends out from the shore, and there's not a lot of anything on the bottom. It's kind of a featureless spot, but we got uh, three or four and missed a couple other ones, and we just started. And I got the camera out now because the rain just stopped. It was raining <laughs> pretty heavily there. So, but anyway, it's a good start. I think we're gonna get some pretty good numbers of fish here. All right, the rain stopped. The first day here on Little Miss, we switched Terry over to uh, a paddle tail on his second jig and rod. And uh, they like it. Oh, okay, well that one counts. We had it, we could have netted it. They like that perch colored paddle tail. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Whip it out there again, come on man. We're right in this zone here, like right behind us, there's a, a weedy four foot flat. And they're hanging out right on the edge of it here, I think. Just long casts, and it's only 7 to 10 feet deep where we're fishing. Kind of just working it back to the boat slowly. And it's uh, the third week. It is the third week of September right right now, isn't it? So it's, it's late. But we have, on the graph, a 55 Fahrenheit water temperature. Uh, so up in this region, three or four days ago, there was apparently the first snowfall of the year. But right up until the, the last four or five days, it's been quite warm. Uh, I don't think turnover has happened yet, because we're still getting them in, you know, seven to nine feet of water. Usually post turnover, they're down deeper. And uh, that's a good sign. Terry is up to bat again. Good job. It, if we can get this one yeah, in the boat. we'll see if we can get this one in the boat. And uh, nice chunky one, beauty. So Terry worked his grub back to the boat, and it was like more or less almost hanging over the side. And uh, that fat little wall, I just slammed it. Yeah, it's my turn now. It's uh, we got a bunch while it was still raining, and it just finally kind of cleared up a little bit. First day here on Little Miss Nabby. About a fifth, oh, it's not even a big one, but he inhaled that uh, paddle tail pretty good. This spot, I don't really know what's holding the fish here. It's just like a big flat of nothingness. But uh, clearly, the fish, look at that thing. It's a pretty lifelike looking paddle tail. Anyway, they like it. I don't have a lot of them, so I think I've only got three of them in my box. But right on, cool. So right here, we're right in six feet of water here right now. And uh, we got about three more minutes of drift. We'll just see if I can get another one on cue. They seem to be holding right on the edge of the flat. Like probably a boat length behind us, it's four foot and weedy. So long casts. Actually, there's one right there. I had, uh, I think I got a quarter ounce head on that one, actually. And just pop it back to the boat. That was a tick. Like, the walleye tick. Right there. The sun is starting to sink. It's, uh, third week of September, so the days are short, right? Like, normally we'd have about eight more hours of fishing. <laughs> I would kill you. Actually, if this was a June trip, you wouldn't like me by the end of the week. I have certain friends that won't fish with me, period, actually. They won't. They literally won't. Especially if it's uh, a June trip around the summer solstice. If the weather's good, I'll be out till 10, 10.30. We're picking... Oh, there was one right there. We're picking them up, but not. we're not setting the world on fire here, but... 
it's enough to make it interesting and not, there it is right there and not really want to leave leave the spot yet this one actually feels better all right yeah yeah it's a chunky one and no not any real finesse like um, Terry is a little more old school I think because he's running mono which I did for most of my adult life on my reels but uh, this is a 10 pound braid with 12 pound fluorocarbon on the business end that's a nice chunky one I think we're gonna have fun this week I mean, it's the first spot we tried, right? Yeah, it is. We haven't uh, we haven't really even fished any any other spot yet. Nice. This fish is super lucky that it's not fish fry night tonight. Cool. All right. Ice eater. Yeah. Oh, we're right at the the end of our first day. It really was just a late afternoon kind of foray because we got out late starting to get a little chilly but uh terry's got oh don't lip them <laughs> that would Damn be a bass <laughs> yeah <laughs> lots of nice fish that size and here's the spot there's a reed point here that extends way way out into the lake like a needle right off the tip of that reed point it's like textbook yeah. if you look up walleye spot in wikipedia that reed point will be in there nice Terry's on fire now. He's uh, he's dialed in. He's got a really light rod though. That's that's like an ultra. Oh, oh. quick! Throw it back out while the camera's running. <laughs> Let's show how easy it is. Whip it out there. There we go. That did not take long. I just shut the camera off and then on again. We're right. We're drifting right into these reeds. Oh, it's a little pike. It's a little snake, or as we like to call them in the trade, slime darts. We're, Terry and I are both uh, more or less hypothermic at this point. <laughs> like seriously, I know I am. And Terry's it may be helping the shaking of my rod. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's added added action to the jig. Like he said a minute ago, it's like a four day trip. We got out real late. Like it was like 4:30 when we got out. Yeah. So we're. Uh, we're trying to maximize our time.